My name is Sherry Crandall, instructional coach at the high school, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. Research shows if we introduce ourselves in this way, showing our respect and understanding to our transgender and non-gender conforming students, we can decrease suicide attempts by up to 65%. That is a huge effect for such a small gesture. Don't all of our students deserve to feel loved, safe, accepted, and respected at school? I'm here tonight to speak in favor of board policy 50413R. Many in our district are asking for transparency and we have been following this policy for more than five years with no issues. It's the law, so why not make this clear in district policy so that there's transparency and understanding. I understand this proposed policy scares some people and I'm a mother and protecting my children is number one goal, but it's also my goal to protect all students of Linmar every day. If there's an active shooter in the building, I am trained to get them out, all of them. All of them, not some, not the ones that look or act a certain way, but all of them. And I take that very seriously and I would give my life to ensure that I took care of all your students. So I take that same serious stance with our transgender students and their rights. But let's talk about fear for a minute. It raises our anxiety and it causes us great stress. But sometimes fear can be eliminated if we know what the reality is. There is no evidence, there's not one confirmed case on record of a transgender person molesting another person, including children in a bathroom or locker. However, there are numerous cases of students and children being molested by people who should be safe to our children, clergy, family members, coaches, and yes, unfortunately, even teachers. 70% of sexual assaults occur inside a victim's home by somebody that they know. When we're looking in the wrong places for risks to our children, we miss the opportunities to strengthen the protective factors necessary to prevent abuse. At the last board meeting, a concern was shared that public education is causing transgender numbers to rise. The number of trans people isn't increasing, it's the number that publicly identify as trans because we're trying to normalize and make it safer, and in the, place, in the past there was no place on the form to check male or female. I've been working for Linmar for 35 years and I'm in the classroom multiple times during the day with my job, and I assure you not one of our teachers is trying to groom your children to be gay or trans. Yet all means all. So at the last board meeting, Matt stated that he felt that all students should have the access to address their concerns with this policy, and I totally agree. If your students are concerned, have them come see me in the main office at the high school. I have the two therapy dogs and everybody knows who the dog lady is. I will give them the numerous ways to feel safe if these policies make them feel uncomfortable. These solutions will not ostracize them or make anyone else aware if they, are ever, if they want to keep it private. It's truly my goal that every single student at Linmar feels safe, loved, accepted, and respected. If you're worried about what your children are exposed to, I would ask you to fear this phone more than the policy. So we fear the unknown, so come and see it. Come visit, I will personally give you a tour, lower your fears about what you think might be happening, and come see what is actually happening and put your fears to rest. Thank you.